One month ago, I started game development, and since then I've made quite a few projects. But, being a noob, my projects are pretty bad, so I'm going to start a devlog series. So, to get started with a project, we need to come up with a game idea. So, here's a list of my ideas. Okay, so that's not going to work. So, instead of coming up with the perfect idea, I decided to just start. The original idea of the game was going to be a 2D top-down exploration game, but that was way too ambitious. But because I set the game up anyways, a really interesting mechanic came to me, where the player can only pick up one item at a time. And to be honest, I like the idea so much, I'm going to make that my core cool mechanic. Okay, but if I'm a noob, how did I make that mechanic? It seems quite complicated, and I would agree. Unfortunately, I can't show everything in this video, otherwise the video would be like 5 oh. hours long. But to get started, I watched some YouTube videos, and after that, I modified it with ChatGPT. And yes, I know using AI is kind of like Bruh. cheating, but to be fair, it's really just a, another search engine. And for me, it's actually taught me a lot about game development. So yeah, that's how it seems like I'm making such advanced stuff with only a month of experience. Anyhow, after I added that game mechanic, I reconsidered the game direction. I decided to make it a 2D platformer, but yes, it was kind of broken. Then, after fixing the bugs, I decided to do some animation, and I'm actually quite happy with the outcome. Next, I wanted to add the visuals to my core mechanic, so I tried a few different methods to show the player is holding an item. This was my initial idea. The player can pick up items, and depending on the mouse location, it will show the player holding the item in that direction. But I didn't really like it, so I changed it. After the mechanics felt nice, I remember seeing a comment on my channel about dialogue systems. So. I tried adding an NPC for quests. It took a while, but after watching a few YouTube videos, the dialogue system came along pretty good. And this is how it turned out. To use the dialogue system, all I had to do was press left click. So yeah, I was pretty happy with the result. After doing a few more bug fixes, I decided to work on the map design. I just started off with some basic colours for the tile map. I then tried to add a collection system for the NPC. And it took a while to get it, but now I can start making quests for NPCs. I then tried to play around with Unity's Planicle system, but I'm going to be entirely honest, I had no clue how to operate it. And after getting this bug where the particles kept disappearing when I faced to the left, I decided to just give up on the particle system. Anyhow, after that unsuccessful battle with the particle system, I decided to try some audio. And using Unity's asset store, I found a variety of audio, and I'm pretty happy with it. I also got some jumping sounds for my player. Then I decided to try to find some good visuals for my game from the Unity Asset Store, and I found this. And after setting up everything, it looked so, so much better. As you can see, I turned the NPC into a wizard and those little boxes I had before into some fruit. And yeah, the project's looking pretty nice. And one of the last things I decided to do was add a windscreen. Right now to beat the game, all you have to do is give all the fruit to the NPC as a quest, and yeah. And after I redesigned the whole map, it looks pretty good. And yeah, I'm definitely pretty happy with the project, and if you have any cool ideas or questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!